It's always a joy to see poppies growing alongside new motorways, which are still barren wastelands, particularly if the journey is slow because of continuing roadworks. In dementia, feelings of joy can also ease what at times can be a difficult journey. The reason feelings remain when facts are forgotten is because they're stored in different parts of the brain. The facts in the hippocampus and feelings in the amygdala. We've all had experiences in the past from situations that had consequences, which might have triggered fight or flight responses. We learnt from these events and each new situation is compared to these past experiences and the response affected by the consequence. The feelings they caused rather than just the events. When a group of people are asked to identify this white and yellow picture, usually someone immediately realises it's part of a daisy or someone suggested a daffodil and their response leaves the others feeling silly, bewildered, left out, as they had not yet seen the bigger picture. And this illustrates how people with dementia feel most of the time. We don't get the bigger picture and we feel left out, stupid, because we don't understand what's going on and it's made worse if everyone else does. If we think about an event from our childhood, the facts might be a bit hazy but we remember whether we enjoyed it or not. We're also more likely to remember things if we find ourselves in the same situation or place again. The book Contented Dementia tells a story about a man who gave his wife a letter to post. Later he asked her if she had posted it. She had forgotten all about it. He extracted it from her handbag and was not happy. So she asked him if he had taken the dog for a walk but it had died the week before. In her mind, that was the last time she had seen her husband not happy. She had forgotten the dog had died, but remembered the feeling. Something to do with the dog. So it made perfect sense to her to make a comment which her husband thought was completely ridiculous. We mirror the feelings of those around us. If we get agitated for any reason, and those around then also get agitated, we will get worse, even become frightened or aggressive. But if they are calm and reassuring, with smiles and encouragement, we'll often settle. If someone arrives late and distressed from a situation elsewhere, we will become upset. I found Edna, who had dementia, very distressed, wandering up and down, and eventually I worked out her carer had been miserable while getting her up that morning because of a family matter. And Edna thought she had done something to cause their distress. It is thought by some that when we have dementia, we just need to be kept safe and well cared for. But in this picture, the little boy looks well cared for, clean, well nourished, and certainly safe, but he is not happy. Feelings continue to be important in dementia and can add to self-esteem. I was asked to help the lady who had become very aggressive. I'd never met her before, so I went and knelt down in front of her so as not to appear authoritarian or a threat. I looked up at her and smiled, and as usually happens, she smiled back. So I said, what a beautiful smile you have. You've made my day. Thank you. And for the rest of the time, she sat like a queen, smiling and calm. Staff asked me what on earth I'd said to her. I'd only made her feel of worth and value. Sometimes we don't understand what is happening and can feel frightened. We might see moving reflections or become bewildered or alarmed. Aggression can be due to frustration, but can also be due to misinterpretation of events and the feelings caused by this can lead to aggression. In the same way, unwillingness to cooperate can be due to feelings of fear or invasion of privacy, commonly seen in bathroom scenarios. For many older people, showers were not the social norm in their childhood and can be terrified at seeing water cascading out of the ceiling. This classic picture can be seen either as a haggard older woman or a serene younger one. 
and we can feel old and unattractive if we mess up our clothes. Help us to feel more serene by ensuring we wear clothes without zips so we can't forget to do them up, without buttons so we can't undo them in public. You can buy reversible dresses, t-shirts, socks and trousers without zips. In all situations it can be helpful to see things from the perspective of the person with dementia, which at times can be like living in a foreign land and not being able to understand what is going on. We have visual spatial problems due to our brains interpreting things incorrectly, not our eyes not seeing properly. Steps can be a problem as we feel as if we're falling. Stepping onto a carpet with a busy pattern can be a challenge as it might look like a fish pond or a manhole to us and make us feel anxious. And this picture is a happy one because of the bright colours and the smile. So what you wear and whether you smile can affect us. The feelings left behind after a visit are far more important than what you did or said or how long you stayed. Feelings remain when facts are forgotten.